You're an idiot until you're successful. Then you're smart. Yes, so uh, I got a mic on so I can move around. Yeah, yeah. I just bought this brand new studio and 100 acres of land around it. And uh, this is where we're filming all our videos going, not all, but all our indoor shoots going forward. I mean, ask me more questions. I, there's so much to talk about. It's, it's how impossible. Much, how much list. did this cost and how long in the making has this been? So the land around it, obviously the studio, the renovations and everything, and obviously we don't pay it all up front, but in total, it'll cost over $10 million. But that's probably not a good way to start it because like there's so much explanation. People don't, it seems excessive. Why would you just buy this? You know what I mean? Like the reason we bought this is because of, you know, it's the way I've spent the entire day explaining to you. We had office, a bigger office than a, stu a studio, a bigger studio than a third studio. And then like, and now it's consolidating. And it's like, if I just, it's a weird way to start it. Cause now it just sounds like I'm being expensive and lavish for no reason. Well, there's a strategic reason why, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I mean, you obviously, you started in your bedroom, right? At the cost of zero. Literally put on me the entire time. When I used to make like a dollar a day, I saved up for months and I bought a microphone way worse than this microphone. <laughs> and then uh, I saved up for like half a year and I bought a computer. I, and I, I, the whole time I was like recording on my iPhone. So I was recording and editing on my iPhone uh, when I first started. And then I got a microphone you could plug in. Then I got a computer to edit on. And then after like two years of just filming on my phone, I had a hundred plus thousand subscribers, but I still did have a camera because those things cost like a thousand bucks or I was stupid. I didn't realize you could buy like a G7X for $400. Um, so then I bought a camera. And after that, I bought monitors for my computer. I just kept going and reinvesting. And then I tipped pizza delivery people a hundred bucks and then I tipped a homeless man 10 grand and then, you know, gave away cars, gave away houses and last hand take, uh, take hand off a million dollars keeps it and basically the entire time. So like for the last like eight or nine years, like every dollar I've made, I just spent it the next month on content. And I just did that every single month and it just kept getting bigger and bigger. And here we are. Studied so hardcore. Like there's, I don't remember the YouTuber's name, but some YouTubers are uh, ad revenue. He was hacked and it was leaked and it showed that he did made like 300 grand over three years. I made like two videos on that. And I was just so shocked. I was like, yeah. guys. And I remember like yeah, telling yeah, everyone yeah. I know and they're all like, who cares? I was like, guys, YouTubers can make money. Yeah. Like, yeah, I thought it was just cool to be. Did you know they can make money? I'm like a stupid yeah. teenager, like really young. I was like, how is this possible? I was like, that's so much money. That's more than like my, my mom makes, you know, yeah. in like so many years. And I was, I was mind blown by it. And like, I would find stuff like that and just make videos on it because I thought it was cool. I just don't know how I lost half a million dollars yeah. on a video. <laughs> so you go from making money, spending money to making money, losing money yeah. <laughs> on some videos. On some videos. Other videos right? have to make money to right. go for it. Yeah. So I guess I was going to ask you, like, when did you get that comfort level of saying, I'll actually spend, uh, I'm okay with the entire like, time? The, I, the entire time. Literally, ever yeah. since I was 13. I mean, even though I wasn't monetized at 13. Yeah. I don't I think I got monetized until I was like 15 or 16. But ever since I got my first YouTube paycheck, I just always spent it back on YouTube. Was that because the belief was distribution is the most valuable thing? I just wanted to be the biggest YouTuber I could be. I was, I was not like, I, mean, I don't know, I'm a dumb 15 year old. Like all my yeah. friends play, uh, what is it? Balloon tower defense class and talk about that. <laughs> I don't know. I just was Dude, like, I was awesome better, better, <laughs> to make better videos. And then, and I just want to make better videos. And I mean, now I'm a lot more strategic, but back then it was just like, I just want good videos. You know? What was your relationship to money when you were growing up? Uh, I mean, it's hard. Cause I don't want to like, overplay it sure. you know yeah. it's not like i was yeah. like wearing where my next meal would come from yeah. but we weren't we weren't the most well off like there it was a very quickly came to a point where i was making more on like a single brand deal than my mom made an entire year and she was like raising me and my brother and sister and stuff like that um it was but did you yeah. desire money like when you were younger i've only won money so i can make better videos so i can grow Got my it. channel yeah but it's like no i mean like dude like the the, the type of stuff I do now is would have been unfathomable to anyone back when I was younger. It, like so unfathomable, it's crazy. Like if you told me when I was like 15 that one day I'd make a hundred grand a year, I would have been like, "What the? F yeah, you don't make that kind of money." Right. Like I thought it was crazy that a YouTuber made like 300 grand over the course of a few years. You know what I mean? Like it's like I, it was it was pretty brutal. Like you know, a few hundred bucks was like out of this world insane back then. You know? Yeah. It's interesting too because if I go to them, I'm like, "Hey." I just for fun, you know, I ask like, hey, you want to give me uh, some money to produce a TV show? I'm like, no. It's like, okay, I guess I'll just, hey, I have no interest in doing that type of stuff. Yeah. But uh, it's funny because I, sometimes I poke at them to like see if they'll give me money. And uh, and no one is. No, I guess they just don't believe that I can do dope stuff with like a million dollars. Like even just something as simple as like 
a million dollars an episode to like just go give away money to people yeah like, they'd be like no and it's like i spend that for almost my youtube videos at this point and i know it would like kill it for them yeah but i mean at the end of the day i just want to be a youtuber i don't really care to do that type of stuff but you know it's always fun to be like hey netflix how much would you pay me That's it's literally fun. just like it's not like i just woke up one day yeah. and i have dozens of employees like it's just like i've literally just been hiring like a person a month for the last four years like you know it's the, the videos it's like because it's also not like you know i gave a homeless guy 10 grand and then you know the next day i'm buying everything in five stores you know and, and needing a hundred people yeah. to fill dozens of u-hauls and stuff like it's just a slow progression up and along the way we just pick up a person and another person another and you have of like hey let's just reinvest everything. she's just gotten to the point where she like just accepts it <laughs> like i mean we, we ran out of money many times and had to get a loan to keep going or whatever but she just knows i'm not gonna stop so years ago she just gave that up she's scared like, up. he's yeah he's, well and obviously now that we're this big like there's not as much to worry about but yeah i mean like i'd make 50 grand a month and then I'd film a fifty thousand dollar video that would end up costing sixty thousand dollars of oh we're ten thousand dollars negative and then yeah she'll be like okay once we make this back and we're in the, you know green like let's let's put some money aside I'm like nah let's keep going we yeah, made yeah, sixty thousand yeah. dollars this month it's on an uptrend <laughs> and the only reason I would do a podcast is to make money to be able to do bigger YouTube videos so if I thought that I could make enough or make a difference I'd be able to elevate my content one hundred percent I'd do it it's just like. That it's it's hap well, study big YouTubers. It happens time and time and time again. They like they get big, they start side projects, they lose focus, their channel falls off, and then all that stuff fades away with it. You know what I mean? You just you gotta be focused. At the end of the day, that that's what matters. Main channel, Mr. Beast, and all this other stuff supports it. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. And so that's off at twelve billion views. Twelve billion views. Okay. So the number it gave us was twenty eight million dollars. So it's, it's assuming like a two point three dollar RPM. Interesting. I mean, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> I've spent tens of millions of dollars on my videos, so my money has to come from somewhere. I won't leave it at that. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Because right, you've spent more than that. Of course. Yeah. I mean, tens of millions of dollars have gone into my YouTube videos. Like, because I've taken all the money from the gaming channel, the React channel, all the other stuff I'm doing, all my merch, all the brand deals, everything, gone right back into it. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, there, there's probably going to be a day where I'll spend over a billion dollars on just YouTube videos in the future. Yeah, That's so and, crazy. Um, obviously, I'm nowhere near that, but yeah, I'm talking yeah. like, you know, a de two decades from now or a decade, yeah. Yeah. 20 billion fold. You and know I mean? as we, like, you guys are only seeing the inside of this space, but there's also a lot of space. Yeah, around. I don't know if we want to go too yeah. in depth. But. Sure. More acres than you could ever need. We're going to build 20,000 square feet of office. We're going to build a replica of this. I mean, the problem is, like I talked about before, if you, you know, we have multiple warehouses, but if you, since the videos take months to do, and you know, and I want to upload, and an ideal world for a month, so, and if videos take 90 days to do, you know what I mean? Like, that's 12 videos that in the next 90 days you got to do. And, um, and if you're not working on them now, then they won't happen in 90 days. And so it's the ball next space, you know what I mean? Like, I've told you guys this a million times, but this is for, for you guys. Like, if, if, uh, you know, one video is taking up all of our studio. Well, we have 11 other videos to work on and they can't have it till that. And so um, we just need tons of space to be able to work on videos months in advance because if we don't, they don't happen. You know what I mean? 